Greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Welcome to the channel, my brothers and my sisters. Okay, well, I'm back with another conference for you all. Okay, okay. <clears throat> now, I'm trying to figure this thing out here with these uh, types of uh, whorish females out here who... Um, well from the download that i've been getting and I'm, I'm really piecing a lot of things together here and there but um from what i understand there was some whore that um thought that i was involved with somebody and from what i understand the whore was going around saying that she had taken my man or something like that I don't know, for some reason, that's uh, a download that I'm getting. And it makes absolutely no sense because I'm trying to figure out what man did she take from me? <laughs> I'm trying to figure that out because um, mm, maybe somebody else knows something that I don't know. I mean, what man? What's his name? Where is he from? Who is he? I mean, really. So, you know, whoever put that lie out, um, they played themselves. <laughs> um, but I do understand that there was um, somebody who, um, there was somebody that I was working with. And from what I understand, I, I didn't work with the person, but the person was a co-worker. Okay, my brothers and my sisters. And from what I understand, um, uh, I don't know. I used to conversate, just small talk with the person, just brief conversations. I didn't know the person like that, and the person didn't know me like that. And from what I understand, there were people in the workplace that thought that the person and I were involved or talking, but that's not what it was. No. It's just small talk in the workplace. It's what you do with coworkers. But anyway, <clears throat> from what I understand, um, there was some... Um, oversized butt whore out there that um, was interested in the person and the person was interested in her and um, I think it was one of those uh, what they call the social media hoes and um, from what I understand um, the person that was the co-worker went and hooked up with some social media hoe from what I understand with an oversized butt and um <clears throat> then um I don't know you know because like I said I as far as this dude is concerned I don't know him like that I was not involved with him but from what I understand the oversized butt person um was saying that she had taken him from me or something like that I was going around out there or posting stuff or saying something like that no uh, no that's not true I was not involved uh, with that dude, he was just a co-worker, you know, so no no need for that slut to toot her horn if that that's what was going on, but it just seems like I'm getting some sort of download that that's what was going on around me. Now, now understand that has nothing to do with my personal life and my personal circle. That's what's going on out there that has, has nothing to do with me. That's something that somebody else has stirred up. It has nothing to do with me, Okay. But from what I understand, I don't know if the whore was just out there running its mouth or whatever. I don't know. Um, I, I kind of detected that. But like I said, I, I don't know that tramp. And that tramp don't know me. If that's what was going on, which I believe it was. But you know how sometimes uh, brothers and sisters, you, um, you know, like I said, I'm highly intuitive. But um, <clears throat> I believe that's what was going on because from what I understand, um, that the person, the co-worker, had sent somebody towards me to ask me a question about something. And they sent somebody that they thought I was friends with at the gig. Now, you understand, I, I, you know, and all of this, from what I understand, took place in 2021, the summer of 2021. Now, understand, during the summer of 2021, at the gig um, that, I, that, I, that I was at, I didn't have any friends in there. 
you know. But evidently, there was somebody that thought I did. So from what I understand, they found somebody that um they thought that I was friends with to ask me a question or something. And from what I understand, uh, the person went back and told the co-worker that I had said something negative about them. Just ghetto, low-class, hood rat, stupid mess that those types have going on. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not that type of person, so I'm not involved in that type of hood ratish ghetto mess. But anyway, <clears throat> from what I understand, the person that the co-worker had asked to ask me a question about something went back and told a lie. And uh, I think that, that the person said I had bad-mouthed the co-worker or something like that. Just a bunch of old ghetto hood rat mess. And uh, the person, instead of the person coming and asking me, uh, what did I say anything, the person went out there and just started, um, I don't know, going crazy, I guess. I mean, I don't know, you know, just uh, sleeping around and whoring around and things of that nature. And I don't know this. I don't know from the downloads I'm getting um, the story. It can be kind of confusing because I, I don't know if the person went out and <clears throat> married a social media hoe or something uh, or something of that nature. And um, because I knew that the person was very rude towards me, you know what I'm saying? And I know there are people that are like, well, well, why do you uh, snap at the person, which I did snap at the person. But it really didn't make sense because there was so much going on around me, brothers and sisters, that had nothing to do with me because it was Satan that was staring up all this stuff, okay? Whenever there's something going on around you and it really doesn't make sense to you, it's Satan, you understand? And um, <clears throat> so the person ended up uh, speaking to me in a rude manner about something. And uh, I spoke to the person back in a rude manner and that was it because the person's behavior didn't make any sense. And um, <clears throat> from what I understand, the person hooked up with some big booty whore out there. And um, <laughs> and then, uh, I don't know, it was just a bunch of craziness that the people at that particular gig had going on. Had And, and the stuff that, that was going on around me had absolutely nothing to do with me. Isn't that something? Nothing to do with me. I'm minding my own business. I'm stacking my papers. You know, and... Uh, from what I understand, uh, I, I think that the person, the co-worker, married somebody out of spite or something, or married them because of finances or something like that. Um, and then um, there was something that had to do with the materialism or super, married the person for a superficial reason or something like that. And uh, because the person had an oversized butt or something like that. That's the download I was getting. And then... Um, <clears throat> I don't know but but see it was confusing because the dude who is the co-worker that I just engaged in small talk with he was also having sex with a lot of the whores at the gig so my thing is well you got married but you're still having sex with these whores on the job and um a lot of those tramps you know they were giving me the evil eye but I'm thinking giving me the evil eye for what I don't even know this dude <laughs> know him like that but see you know they were jealous of me and they were threatened by me um and uh so from what i understand the co-worker dude was having sex with whores at the gig and was had gotten married to somebody and then had uh numerous whores out there pregnant and uh all of this stuff was going on around me during the summer of 2021 and uh it was just a bunch of satanic low-class ghetto ice with a bunch trying to stir up a bunch of mess around me but it had nothing to do with me so it's like it, all this stuff was just going on around me while i was basically minding my business not even really aware that a lot of it was going on so that just shows you uh the type of dysfunctional environment that i was uh, working at and um, from my understanding, um, there was just so much, there, you know what, it was just so many dysfunctional people around me that it's like, they were just staring up a bunch of craziness. And uh, I know there are people at the gig that knew what was going on, but then I think there was somebody that had um, contacted somebody and said, uh, they don't even think I know what's going on. 
Well, no, I really didn't know all that craziness was going on around me. I knew there was some craziness going on, but not to that extent because I knew there were like these drag queen looking whores that were coming towards me with an attitude. And I'm thinking, why is this person coming towards me to with an attitude? This whore don't know me, you know, but it was just a bunch of mess that was being stirred up around me. And then that's when I later came, um, I got the download that um, there was a lot of witchcraft going on around me. Um, from co-workers whorish co-workers that were jealous of me were doing kitchen magic against me because the co-worker that I used to just conversate with him just casual talk they thought that he and I were involved or liked each other so what these whores did they went and did black magic to try to keep the the co-worker dude bound to them it was that type of deal. I know it sounds crazy. It is crazy. Those people are crazy. But that's what was going on. And uh, <laughs> do you see the mind of Satan, my brothers and my sisters? You know, we live in a very sick world. This world, it gets sicker and sicker. And then not only that, but you know what? I would say the plot thickens. But you know what? It's not even worth getting into. I just wanted to um, just mention that mention that because, you know, it's like this. people are really sick. And people are really dysfunctional and they come out of these um, dysfunctional households where, you know, they don't have a role, proper role models. They're not taught properly. Uh, they don't have integrity. They don't have morality. They, they don't have any ethics. They don't have any foundation. They don't have any standards. And they have no proper guidelines as to live by and how to conduct themselves and how they should be as um, decent, productive human beings. Because they're, they're not decent, productive human beings. You know, and then also from what I understand, the co-worker dude was out there slandering my name and spreading lies on me and getting jokes off of me and mocking me and mocking my spirituality because, of, of course, I'm a believer. And one thing I know, you can't mock God Almighty and get away with it. So now that individual is going through hell on earth because from what I understand, that person is trapped in, in a horrific marriage and... um to the outside people, that individual tries to make it look like they've got it going on. But behind closed doors, that person is going through a living hell. And not only that, but um, their spouse, from the download that I got, was cheating on them with their best friend and contracted an STD. Okay? That's, that's, that's the download that I got. So, basically, the dude co-worker that... Um, I used to conversate with, he married a, a nasty hoe. I mean, that's the download I got. He married a nasty hoe. And um, who slept with his best friend. I, you know, I, I don't know. That That's what I thought. That's what I think. I'm not sure. You know, I don't know. It's, it's none of my business. It only becomes my business if, if somebody tries to bring it up in my face. Like if somebody tries to step to me the wrong way. Because I don't have nothing to do with none of that. I don't have anything to do with that. That has absolutely nothing to do with me. Um, basically, what I had was just a bunch of dysfunctional people around me that were stirring up a bunch of crazy drama around me, but it had nothing to do with me because I didn't associate with those people, and I still don't. And um, a lot of them are not even around me anymore, praise God. But, um, yeah, that's, that's the type of world that we live in, very uh, dysfunctional. And then from what I understand... <clears throat> I don't know, I can't pinpoint exactly who, but there was somebody that was affiliated with the dude co-worker, and from what I understand, I believe they were, I don't, I, 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 I kind of perceived that the person was sending me some sort of threats by way of the internet, so I sent threats back, <laughs> because, you know, I'm the type of chick, you know, you don't send me no threats over the internet, and I don't send you a threat back, and if you come in my face, I'm going to put my foot in your mouth, and I don't care who you are. And that's the, just the type of chick I am. But, um, so anyway, basically, um, I think they call that cyberbullying. But, you know, I'm not faced by cyberbullying. <laughs> what is that to me? I'm not afraid of that. Um, I'm not afraid of anything. Okay? I think uh, a lot of whores, they know that by now. But anyway, yeah, that's some of the craziness that was going on around me. And then, um, from what I understand, um, there were certain whores out there that um, 
were trying to uh, copycat me and they were concerned about my style and my dress and how I wear my hair and all that stuff. And um, it was just, it's just a lot of craziness that was going on around me. And actually, it probably still is. It's just that um, it's not a lot in my life, you know, and nobody's going to bring it to my front door, you know. So, hey, I mean, let crazy be crazy out there, okay? Keep it out there over there because it's not going to come this way. But anyway, brothers and sisters, you know, <clears throat> People need prayer. <laughs> they need Jesus because this world, that's dysfunction. The things that were going on around me um, in the summer of 2021 at this gig, and not only just at the gig, but even out in society, people need prayer. There is there There are some crazy people in this world. And, uh, you know, we've got whores out there that um, they just treat these men like they're God Almighty. You know, that's how they treat these men, you know, and it's like, um, something is wrong with them. Some, something is wrong with these tramps out here. I'm telling you, there's something wrong. First of all, something's wrong with them because they're tramps. And then they'll try to, um, call other people whores and stuff who are not whores. And that's just to try to uh, defame somebody's character. And, um, I'm sure that's something we've all been called. But, um, see, for, for a person like me. <clears throat> that title has never fit me. So if somebody disrespects me and try to call me something like that, I'm coming for blood. <laughs> I'm coming for blood because I know that uh, my family didn't raise no whore. I know that for a fact. So that's just a word that a tramp throws around because she can't put her hand on you. you know. But yeah, so when I real came to the realization that uh, there was somebody on um, the internet that was trying to cyber bully me or threaten me or something like that, I'm thinking to myself, tramp, I'll put my foot down your throat. Whoever it is, I will put my foot down their throat in front of your dude, okay? And if he want to get in it, he can get it too. I mean, that's just what it is. And, you know, um, from what I understand, the dude co-worker that I was uh, affiliated with only in small talk because I didn't know him. From what I understand, he, ha he ha is the one that had gotten a bunch of things stirred up. And um, somebody, from what I understand had placed me in a third party. Now, I'm trying to figure out how I ended up in a third party, and I wasn't even involved with that dude. But see, what it was, he was making it look like, I think, that he and I were involved. I know. He was my, he was trying to make it look like he and I were talking. But he was also out here involved with other people. So th to people on the outside, yes, that would look like, oh, they're talking, but he's out there having sex with those females. You see what I'm saying? So basically, that dude brought a lot of conflict my way. Because there are a whole lot of whores that um, he could have had to leave this planet by stepping to a chick like me. And I'm just keeping it real, you know. So, um, ladies, just be careful out there about the type of people that you acquaint yourselves with. Because um, I'm telling you, the devil's busy. And you never know who he's working through also, okay. And a lot of people out there are involved in black magic. Don't worry about black magic. As a child of God, it's not going to affect you. OK, don't worry about it, but just be mindful and be aware that there could be people around you every day that you interact with every day. And they may try to act normal when you are around them or when they are around you. And then they go to their homes and they try to work and they work black magic on you all. That, of course, isn't going to work, but that's what they're doing. And from what I understand, um, the the spells that uh, people were trying to send my way were. Um, beauty spells you know because they want to uh they want to take your looks and they want to they want your appearance to change and then i think somebody was trying to put a i don't know what you call it, i guess a mute spell <laughs> you gotta laugh you gotta laugh at it i think somebody wanted me to shut up because you know <laughs> I'm speaking too much truth for these devils I hear, my brothers and my sisters. But you know what? I'm going to keep on talking. Hello in Jesus' name. And that ain't going to work neither. <laughs> and then uh, from what I understand, um, they had sent a spell trying to attack my finances. Probably my employment. Um, let me see what else. Just anything pertaining to me. From what I understand, they were trying to 
cook up these spells. I guess it was that bootleg kitchen magic stuff that these hoes was throwing. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna stay under the blood. I'm going to stay under the blood. I'm gonna stay enough stuff <laughs> and I've seen enough uh, demonic activity in my life I could write a movie script I could write a movie script a book or whatever you know Oof. because I have encountered some crazy people in my life <laughs> some crazy people I mean there are some crazy whores out there and some crazy dudes too they crazy too you know and um like i said you know i'm not going to get into a lot of detail or anything but um whew, yeah from what i understand um that particular dude that i was acquainted with at the gig like i said i didn't know him like that but he went chasing after um from what i was from the download i got somebody that he thought was better than me well ain't nobody better than me that's his stupidity but uh, he was chasing some um, oversized butt hoe out there, you know, and um, ran up on a snag. And now I think he's trapped in some type of a, I don't know if it's a marriage or a situation or trapped with a baby or I, I don't know. But all I know is his life is a living hell. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you chase funky crap. <laughs> <laughs> when you when you, when you chase funky booty crack, that's <laughs> buffalo butt <laughs> whores. That's what happens, you know. And I'm just talking about that particular whore because from what I understand, that tramp went around telling somebody that she had taken him from me, and I won't. And he won't never mind in the first place. I won't with him. <laughs> no, you didn't take him from me. You took him from uh, whoever he was with. <laughs> no, uh. -uh. Don't even try to give yourself that type of credit. Because if I got a man, ain't nobody going to take him. And if somebody take him, he wasn't mine. So that's what that is. So, you know, if that what was what was being said, then it, that dumb whore made a fool out of herself in front of society. Because, no, ain't nobody never took no man from me. Because I look at it this way, ladies and brothers. You take, you can take advice, too. If, so, if, you're, if you are with somebody, if you're actually with somebody, and somebody else comes along and they go off with that person... Um, the person that walked away from you all was never yours in the first place, okay? So they were just pretty much dead weight. And maybe you were claiming them because um, that's how they were presenting themselves. But they were never yours, and that's nothing for you to be offended by. You know why? Because um, I, sometimes Father will allow uh, that type of junk to go away because what is yours is out there. 
for father to send and that is who will stay okay and so with that said god bless you all until next time okay and um hey give glory to god always and always trust in jesus christ and uh just trust him blindly you know like you know how when you're a little child and your parents may hold your hands when you're crossing the highway the dangerous highway let jesus hold your hand like that you know you know just be like a little child with jesus holding your hand and you don't even know where he's leading you but just trust that father knows best okay bye-bye